You have a phone call. She said me, you doofus. Can I come? No, please. Just stay here with Ma. Hello? Mickey, Louis Grossman, your dad's estate attorney. First of all, I'd like to say how sorry I am for your loss. OK. Uh, next thing is, I'm responsible for overseeing the dispersal of your dad's vast estate. You mean the money? Right. Uh, money, real estate, uh, holdings, automobiles, and, uh, well, there's no delicate way to put this. Uh, the will was very clear. Your dad decided to give everything to your younger brother, Mo. Are you kidding? I know it's hard to hear. But the will was very specific. Quote, I leave the entirety of my vast estate to my second born and favorite son, Mo. That's sweet. He must have really loved that boy. Anyway, that's it. Uh, once again, I'm sorry for your loss. If you have any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to call me. Well, like I said, Mrs. Hess, we're checking some things on our end, but if there's anything you can tell us about your husband's business... Or... I appreciate the visit, Chief, but Mrs. Hess had no kind of involvement with Sam's business. Frankly, she's mystified. Her husband being a pillar of the community and all. I mean, heck, voted Bemidji Businessman of the Year 1996 and 98. Who was it? Yeah, like I said, it's a puzzler. Of course, we both know some of your boys have had run-ins with the law in the past. Stolen merchandise charges and the like. And, you know, the Stadies had that case as to maybe your outfit's got ties to that crime syndicate out of Fargo. Whoa, whoa. You're going to stand here? Let me get this straight. You're going to stand here and call the victim a criminal in front of his wife? His kids? Well, no, no one's calling anyone a criminal. Just trying to figure out what happened. 